For enzymes, the most important function is that they are able to increase the rate of a reaction tremendously, enabling the reaction to occur at rates at least a, mil at least a million times of that of uncatalyzed reactions. If it wasn't for these functions, enzymes would just be boring little proteins. And, you know, even more importantly, we won't even be alive to complain about it. If life is like a computer game, then enzymes are like hacks that make everything easier and fun. <laughs> Furthermore, enzymes allow reactions to take place at conditions that are milder than optimal reaction conditions. This means that if a reaction required conditions of 100 degrees Celsius at pH 1 and 5 atm, which generally isn't quite possible for most living things, just saying, the enzyme would allow the exact same reaction to take place at a pH close to neutral, at RTP. This is a real-life example of a life hack. Literally, this is due to the provision of an alternative reaction pathway which requires less energy and hence less extreme conditions. We'll, el we'll elaborate more on this later, but for now you can think of a reaction as trying to get from one side of the mountain to the other. If you can find a less strenuous path that doesn't require climbing the highest mountain, that would be like having an enzyme. It requires less energy to get to the same final point. And this concludes the basics of enzymes. In the next lesson, we will discuss the mechanism of enzymatic action and how they can be regulated.